So here we are back in the garage on the green and time to talk to Tom. Hello Tom. Hi Jane, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. Got a bit of a problem. See, when I'm driving about in London and uh, the traffic's really bad and I don't want to have to keep fiddling with my gear sticks, I find it a bit of a pain. Yes. But I do want a sports car. Yep. What can I do? Easy solution. Michael Schumacher doesn't play with his knob on race days and we've got something here that I think could leave you without a Pugil stick. Let me show you inside. Basically, you've got the Ferrari 360 F1. F1 means you've got the paddle shift. No Pugil stick in the middle, just down, down, down on the left. Up, up, up on the right. Oh, Six look at it. It's even got down written on there just, just in case you Just forget. in case you get a little bit lost. It's <laughs> also got a mode. You hit the button, you've got fully automatic. So you can have your hands free for whatever takes your fancy. Oh, great. So you can either use this or completely automatic. Exactly. Oh. And either way, you've got serious performance, just like a Formula One car. Brilliant. OK. And can we have a look in the back to see how it all works? I know engines are very boring, but this one really takes the biscuit. The ability to see the engine from the outside. So all your jealous friends can salivate without you getting out of the car. I like that. If you look at the heart of the machine, this is the thing that makes the noise that makes the car. 400 brake horsepower, boring figure I know, but the end result is very fast and very noisy and very lovely. So Tom, these Porsches are both 996s and I drove one of these in the Gumball, one of those, and I say that one because it was black. Yep. So take me down a trip down memory lane and tell me exactly what these cars do. This is the current 911, some people call it the 996, that's Porsche's name for the model. Right. And I think you can probably remember from your time in, was it Cannes, Monte Carlo, yeah. that sort of thing? <laughs> it's probably the perfect car for you to do a bit of European Grand Touring. A bit more comfortable than the earlier cars, a little bit more cosseting, a little bit more sensitised really, not quite as, as ballsy or as feely as the previous 911s, but still a great car. And uh, as you can probably remember, you did rather well in that rally, didn't you? I thought it was fantastic actually. I nearly lost it on one of the corners, but yep. I took instruction very well. The car performed very well, but I'm not sure it wasn't just my skill driving the car. I think obviously. with anything this powerful, you, you've got to get used to what you've got uh, under the hood. And in this case, obviously the hood's right at the back, the weight's right at the back, so quite tricky on the limit. It's a bit like a pendulum effect. You've yeah, got to, yeah. If you're in trouble in one of these, put your right foot down, it'll ah, pull itself out of trouble. I was told I was going around a corner and I was just about to lose it and they said, put your foot down. Put and it. I thought, no, but it worked. So I guess that's what you're trying to tell me. So all that's left to decide is which car we're going to drive. I think I'll have that one because it's right-hand drive and it is a black beauty. Rather like yourself, Jane. 